Hello friends, welcome back. So today we are doing another example for body plot. Uh, we have done basic example and before that we discussed about the steps to plot body plot. And uh, as already we discussed that you will be drawing magnitude plot and phase plot uh, with reference to change in frequency for system. So that will be uh, the part of your body plot. So uh, today we will quickly revise the steps. So whatever the transformation is given to us, we replace first S by G omega and we find G of G omega H of G omega. Then we find corner frequency for every term and uh, the corner frequency is the frequency at which there is a change in the slope in the magnitude plot. And uh, then we uh, use the semi-log paper and mark appropriate scale in the semi-log paper. Uh, then first in the uh, in semi-log paper, we have two parts. So in the upper half, we draw magnitude plot and in the bottom part, we draw the phase plot. And if there are questions based on stability analysis or uh, comment on stability kind of a question is there, then we find omega GC and omega PC. So let's start with another problem. So here, the question is, draw the block diagram, uh, draw the body, uh, body diagram for the system transfer function G of S is equal to 100 upon S plus 3 e raised to minus 0.1 s okay so already we have done body plot uh, drawing for 100 upon s plus 3 i have just added one extra term here e raised to minus 0.01 s it is basically a delay term so e raised to minus tds td stands for the delay time so this is first order system plus delay so this is our together transfer function of the system I would like to uh, tell you that delay will only have effect this e raised to minus tds term or so this effect of delay term in the transfer function will be only visible in phase plot and there is no significant effect in magnitude plot so whatever the magnitude plot we are drawing for 100 upon s plus 3 will be the same for this transfer function as well so uh, Let's start with step one and then we will go in that detailed discussion uh, where we will consider this e raised to minus TDS term in the plot. So first of all, we replaced S by J omega. So your transfer function will be G of J omega equals to 100 upon J omega plus 30 into e raised to minus 0.01 J omega. Now, as already we have done, we will find the corner frequency for uh, this pole at S equals to minus 30. So if we simplify in 1 upon 1 plus j omega by c form, our corner frequency will be 30 radians per second. Here you need to add the unit is 30 radians per second and your gain will be 3.33 and there is a time delay of 0.1 second. So these three terms are important which you need to understand from your transfer function. Now uh, let's understand the delay term properly in detail. So basically e raised to minus TDS so e raised to minus tds here if i replace s by j omega it will be e raised to minus td into j omega so if i compare with the actual uh, term which is then the transfer function e raised to minus 0.01 into s that equals to e raised to minus 0.01 j omega so if i compare this two term my delay time will be 0.01 second okay as i said earlier delay time do not have any magnitude so it is 0 db at all frequencies because of which i told you that we always have same magnitude plot considering this delay or without considering this delay in the transfer function because it is having 0 db uh, magnitude at all frequencies now the phase of the time delay is very important because it will change phase drastically so what is the equation for that phase angle phase angle is minus 0 0.01 into omega in radians but we deal with degree so in degree the angle will be we convert from radians to degree so it is minus td into omega into 180 divided by pi in degree 0 0.01 is actually my de delay time it may be changed for different transfer function sometimes it may be so td is equals to 0 0.1 so accordingly we need to change here so actual equation of uh, phase angle because of this delay is minus td into omega into 180 upon pi in degrees and if i say for example my omega is 100 radians per second angular frequency then i have to place that value here and whatever the resultant calculation angle will be in this particular case 30 degree so that i can change for different that i can calculate for different frequencies 
okay so this is the effect of delay term which you need to understand now let's move ahead we'll uh, follow our regular steps so we will first of all plot the magnitude plot so we are making the table uh, first we write the terms so term uh, constant term is 3.33 then delay term is e raised to minus tds or say e raised to minus 0 0.01 g omega and our single uh, first order pole and uh, we already know that the magnitude of uh, we write in 20 log of k base 10 so it is 10.4 db start point will be the starting point of the graph actually there is correction here we have started the border plot with uh, uh, a 10 raised to 0 that means 1 so we'll start the border plot with 1 and it will end at infinity it is not having any slope it is a constant term then because of this delay term there is no magnitude change and all the terms will be dash because of this pole uh, your start uh, your corner frequency is 30 so starting point of slope will be 30 and it is a first order pole so here the slope will be minus 20 db per decade you just add here minus sign it is minus 20 db per decade now if i see this plot you can see the effect of each and every term so this green line stands for the magnitude because of this constant term it is 10.4 db that i have presented here and uh, because of this uh, delay term you have a 0 db red line stands for time delay magnitude plot so it is a 0 db line after that because of this pole at corner frequency or slope will be changed to minus 20 db per decade from 0 db so per decade so here actually because of this individual term your initial slope is 0 db and at corner frequency 30 or slope is changing with minus 20 db per decade so resultant plot will be the addition of this two terms 3.33 and 1 upon 1 plus j omega so resultant plot will be the black line as shown in the figure it is actually the total final magnitude plot considering all the terms present in the transfer function okay now uh, we will plot the phase plot so already we know that uh, because of this delay term there will be effect in the phase plot as per discussion in previous uh, slide so uh, i have taken the significant of each and every term so 3.33 term will not have any phase angle so it will be zero degree e raised to minus 0.01 j omega it is basically raised to minus uh, td into j omega so delay time is 0.01 so equation is minus td into omega into 180 divided by pi so that is my angle in degree so that a td is 0 0.01 so i will place it here angle because of first order pole will be minus 10 inverse omega by 30 so we already know the basic fundamentals 10 inverse y by x from that we have derived the angle so my resultant equation will be addition of these two angles because of these two separate terms so again i am taking random frequencies starting from say low value say 1 because I have started my body plot with 10 raised to 0 so it is 1 and I am increasing this frequency in ascending order up to 1000 I can take any random value which you need to be clear these values are not fixed you can take any in between value if you increase these values then your graph will be more accurate fine so if I place this value in the first uh, angle equation this will be my resultant uh, angles for in degree similarly if i place angle uh, frequency in this different angle equation phi 2 then i will have the values starting from minus 1.9 to minus 8.88 so resultant angle will be addition of these two angles so if i add these two values this will be my resultant angle and based on the, those values starting from frequency 1 up to frequency 1000 I have placed the points and I have connected those points with the help of simple curve. So I will have this final phase plot which I have drawn. Okay. Uh, this blue line is already we have discussed the basic fundamental that uh, this blue line is because of pole. This is red line is very important which is there because of this delay which is e raised to minus TDS that term is creating major significant change in phase plot so that part is very important to be understood and because of this my phase plot has changed drastically addition of this delay is making huge difference in the transfer function so together if we see this graph uh, 
uh, this is my magnitude plot which I have drawn and this is my phase plot again I can calculate that uh, omega gc and omega p those omega gc and omega pc values so omega gc is whenever it will intersect 0 db line so this is my omega gc gain crossover frequency it is somewhere uh, between uh, I think it is less than 100 so somewhere here and uh, similarly if I calculate the phase crossover frequency it is intersecting with minus 180 degree line so it may be uh, coinciding somewhere here so you can calculate those value from your graph paper from your uh, semi-log paper it will be more accurate because here minus 20 degree line is not drawn so this will be my magnitude plot and phase plot for g of s equals to 100 upon s plus 3 e raised to minus 0.01 s this is a reference through which i got the literature and i have tried to explain the effect of delay term which was the additional point to be understood in this particular uh, video and uh, you should always underst understand the you should always uh, clearly identify what will be the effect of delay term it will only have significant effect in phase plot whereas the magnitude plot will remain as it is but when we change but when there will be a change in the phase plot because of that your omega pc means phase crossover frequency will change and it will also change phase margin and gain margin and corresponding to that your stability margin all those terms will be changed so it will be uh, creating major difference so i hope it is clear and uh, i will come back with another video so stay tuned